welcome to my channel um if you are new here welcome and if you're not new welcome back so today i'm gonna be using the products that i bought during the like the vlog or whatever that i posted last which was the elf matte putty primer this is eight dollars and i got it at ulta i also got the elf putty primer and this is in the shade cream it's five dollars at ulta there is five shades total clay cream rose sand and white and i ended up getting the cream one because that's just the one that she um the sales person um brought out i will also be using the bh cosmetics sylvia ghani palette you guys i love this palette like look at the packaging i paid $7.99 for it at tj maxx and um this is what it looks like on the inside I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. putty primer and I don't know, this is what it looks like. It just looks kind of like a MAC paint pot or like the NYX, um, what is it, eyeshadow base. See, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to feel, but mine feels like super dry. I don't know if you guys are gonna see that if, if like the sides of the where the product are are kind of like, like when it's dry, when it's getting dry, it's like peeling off the sides of the container if that makes sense and like the product itself feels super like super super dry and in, I don't know like I have mixed emotions about this like eye primer um it doesn't make my eyeshadows crease it makes them stay on and it, it makes them look a lot more pigmented because I use it without setting it but like with the paint pot that's why I don't really like the paint pot it makes my eyelids look dry like if you guys can see like I moisturized my face I washed my face I moisturized my face I just got out of the shower so I did all of the like the skincare already um and I put like an eye cream or whatever but if you can you guys see that like all of this looks super dry like my eyelid looks dry and I don't know if it's my eyelid or if it's because the product is getting dry see like this side that i put less product looks a little bit better but still looks like dry and then on this side where i added more product it looks super weird and like crusty taking the palette i'm gonna go into the shade the shader here i don't know how to say that word <laughs> it's like a mustard yellow so i am just getting ready to take my daughter to her eye doctor appointment so that's why i don't want to do like something really crazy which I probably will end up looking super crazy okay so this is how it looks so far I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush with the shade oh I haven't used the shade independent which is this one right here I've used this one and this one already but I haven't reached into this one so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one lately uh, like the past like two or three days I have been I haven't been doing my makeup just because I've had some like skin issues or whatever. Um, but like, uh, like every time that I've been doing my makeup, I've been doing it like my eyeshadows with that palette, with this palette, and the eyeshadows look really nice. They blend really nicely. I was wearing like the purple one the other day, and it looked really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe brush again and just blend the edge of that shimmer okay so I did the eyeliner I'm back now um, I'm gonna go into the matte putty primer so yeah, on the website let's see if I can find it um, okay so on the website like I'm looking at Ulta's website and it says that it's infused with colloin and white charcoal to absorb excess oil for a shine free finish the velvety texture glides effortlessly over the skin smoothing over imperfections for poreless effect and the ultimate grip on makeup so that's like like the claims or whatever um i've been using it for like a week already and my face is like super oily that's why i wanted to try this one um i do really like the original one i really do like this one and like like I am like halfway done with it like you guys can see that I really like it um and I thought that maybe since my face was a lot more oilier or oily 
like maybe this one would be like a better fit but here comes my butt like I don't feel like it does much of anything like for my skin like my skin still looks really oily at the end of the day it doesn't look less oily than it did it does with like my other primers and I mean the price is not that bad um it's what like it's eight dollars um I am gonna keep it just because I feel that it does a good job like disguising or covering the pores um which it does say on the like on one of the claims it says, it says that it smooths over imperfections for poreless effect that part I do like so I will keep it because of that like I'll just use it like in combination with a different primer so yeah so I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'll show so you guys that guys um I did my makeup a little bit more um natural than I usually do um I do have eyelashes on like fake eyelashes on but you can't like really tell they're like a little bit more natural they are the salon perfect clusters in 615 and I got them at Walmart for 450 they were originally like 844 it says on here and I don't know I just I don't have any eyelashes that are like pointy like that so and I always see like people with like really like pointy um eyelashes on Instagram and I thought that maybe th these would give me that effect but they don't they look a little bit more natural on me um so yeah so this is what the makeup ended up looking like um and I already gave you guys my thoughts on the products as I was using them so yeah so with that my friends that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed um or it helped you out a little bit um hearing an oily side perspective but yeah so i will see you guys in another one take care of yourselves i love you bye